Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at hydrocarbons. We're going to be covering the general characteristics of hydrocarbons and how to name them. So stay tuned. First, let's see what is meant by hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are compounds that are made up of hydrogen and carbon only, hence the name hydrocarbon. If the compound contains any other element such as oxygen, then it is not a hydrocarbon. There are two types of hydrocarbons, alkanes and alkenes. Before we can learn the names of alkanes and alkenes, we need to understand the prefixes that are involved in the naming of carbon compounds. If a carbon compound contains one carbon, then the prefix meth is used. Two carbons eth, three carbons prop, four but, five pent, six hex, seven hept, eight oct, nine non, and ten dec. Once you're familiar with all these prefixes, then the naming of hydrocarbons are very easy. Alkanes are called saturated hydrocarbons. The reason they are called saturated is because they do not have any carbon-carbon double bonds or CC double bonds. They only have carbon-carbon single bonds. The general formula for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. N represents the number of carbon atoms in the molecule and 2n plus 2 represents the number of hydrogen atoms in the molecule based on the number of carbons. We we'll look at this in detail later on. All alkanes end with "-ane". The way alkanes are named is adding the prefix in front and ending with "-ane". Let's look at an example. Methane. From earlier, we know the prefix meth is for one carbon. So we know that methane contains only one carbon. Each carbon atom can be bonded to four other atoms. So each carbon must have four bonds. Since alkanes are hydrocarbons, the only other atom that is going to be present other than carbon is hydrogen. Therefore, this carbon will form four other bonds with four atoms of hydrogens, like this. One carbon has to form four bonds and one hydrogen can only form one bond. So this is methane. The molecular formula for methane is CH4 one carbon and four hydrogen. Now we can link it back to the general formula. General formula for alkanes, CnH2n plus two. How does this all tie up? The number of carbons in methane is one. So N is one. And if N is one, H will be two N plus two. And we get four. Let's look at butane. But is the prefix for four carbon compound. So we know that butane must have four carbons like this and each carbon must have four bonds. The only other atom that's going to be present is hydrogen. So let's look at the first carbon on the left. This carbon already has one bond with the carbon beside it, and therefore it can form another three bonds with hydrogen. So it is going to bond with three other hydrogen atoms. The second carbon from the left already has two bonds, and therefore it can form another two bonds with hydrogen atoms. Same thing applies to the other two carbons as well. Once we've completed the molecule, this is how it will look like. So butane has four carbons and 10 hydrogen. And we can link it back to the general formula. If N is four, then H will be two times four plus two, which is 10. Alkenes are known as unsaturated hydrocarbons. This is because they do have carbon-carbon double bonds. And this carbon-carbon double bond is known as a functional group. A functional group is what defines a compound. If a compound has a carbon-carbon double bond and no other functional groups, then it will be known as an alkene. The general formula for alkenes is CnH2n. And all alkenes end with "-ene". So their name will consist of, again, the prefix in front and "-ene at the back. Let's look at ethene. It is the prefix for two carbons. For alkenes, the smallest alkene is ethene because there cannot be a carbon-carbon double bond if there is only one carbon atom. 
So ethene will have two carbons. We start by drawing the carbon atoms and a double bond between the two carbon atoms. Both carbons already have two bonds, which means they can form another two bonds with hydrogen atoms. And that is why ethene will look like this. The molecular formula for ethene is C2H4. Now, again, we can link it back to the general formula. The general formula is CNH2N. So if there were two carbons, the number of hydrogen would be 2 times 2, which is 4. Prop is the prefix for three carbons. So again, we draw the carbon first. We have three carbon atoms and we need to draw one carbon-carbon double bond. It doesn't matter where we draw the carbon-carbon double bond, especially in the case of propene. I will get into detail about this when we study about isomerism. But for this video, you can either draw the carbon-carbon double bond here or here. It doesn't matter. Once again, we must check how many more bonds the carbon atoms can form. The carbon atom on the left has already formed two bonds and therefore it can form another two bonds with hydrogen atoms. Carbon in the middle has three bonds, one, two and three. So it can only form one more bond with the hydrogen atom. The carbon on the right only has one bond. So it can form another three bonds with hydrogen atoms. This is how propene would look. The molecular formula for propene, C3, there are three carbons and six hydrogens, C3H6. Again, we can link it to the general formula for alkenes. The number of carbons is three, and we have H two times three, which is six. When we want to determine the structural formula of an alkane or an alkene, this is the structural formula. First, we have to look at the name. If it ends with ane, it is an alkane. If it ends with ene, it is an alkene and has a carbon-carbon double bond. Then we look at the prefix to determine the number of carbons. Once we have the number of carbons, then we can determine the molecular formula using the general formula. Once we have that, we can draw the structural formula. We start the structural formula by drawing out all the carbon atoms. If it is an alkene, then we need to add one double bond between two carbon atoms. And lastly, all we need to do is fill in the hydrogen atoms. That's it for this video guys, I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do support me by hitting that like button. It really does help to grow my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.